Best record in the NBA and a half-game lead over the Warriors in the West. They beat Golden State by one back on opening night and face them two more times next month. Now, Houston's general manager, Daryl Morey, said yesterday that the Warriors are always on their minds. Check it out. I think I'm not supposed to say that, but, I mean, we, we're, we're, we're basically obsessed with how do we beat the Warriors. And, uh, you know, we don't really – we don't even deserve to say – we don't – we don't deserve to be able to even say that. Last year, the Spurs knocked us off. Uh, so we're very worried about the Spurs. They always are, you know, one step ahead of every organization and guard us better than anyone. Uh, but we know that, you know, it's like we calculated. It. It's like 90%. If we're going to win a title, we've got to obviously beat the Warriors at some point. And so we're, we're extremely focused on that. And a lot of our signings and, you know, what we do during the year is based on that. Obsessed much? Hmm. After hearing that, Chris, I'll ask you that. The Rockets are hot right now, but so are the Cavs. So who has a better chance to beat Golden State, the Cavs or Rockets? Look, I I'm all in on the Rockets. I really think they're a very good team. I'm giving them a shot. Uh, I've said I, I think they have about a 30% chance of beating Golden <laughs> State. <laughs> shot? 30%? Yeah. yeah at the beginning of the year, it was about 2%. You know, if that. I mean, it was zero, really. Uh, I'm giving Cleveland a slightly better chance because obviously you got the best player in the world and you got some good pieces around him. What the, my question mark about the Rockets, because what I see on the court, I love the three point shooting. Now they're defending. They got Chris Paul and PJ Tucker and Bob Mute and a reason, some good defenders out there. I like everything I see on the court. What I'm questioning is James Harden and Chris Paul in the clutch. I'm not saying they can't get it done. But Harden has been horrible in these clutch I'm glad moments. you brought this up. Yeah, I mean, last year, game six against the Spurs just disappeared. Chris Paul has had some good moments in the playoffs in the clutch, but he's had some really bad ones, especially lately. Last year, Utah game seven, I think 13 points. He had been money throughout the entire series. And obviously, you can go back a few years to Oklahoma City in the clutch, uh, blowing a game there. So... That's my question. Now, will their, you know, presence bolster each one of them? Like, will having Chris Paul there help Harden? Will having Harden help Chris mentally when they're in the playoffs? Hopefully. But right now, that's my only question. But I like them. Um, I'm giving them a shot. But the Cavs, I think, have a better chance. I I'm not buying into them at all. Regular season team, win all the games you want. You have two guys. You just brought it up. Harden and Paul. They are postseason poison. That's what they are. <laughs> postseason poison. And when it's big time, time for the big wins and the big games. I saw Harden in 2012 play unbelievable until they got. He was a baby at that no, time. I, but but still, young. last year in, in game six, 2 for 11 didn't, And uh, I think he only shot twice in the first yeah, half or whatever. Yeah. He was like a no-show. And then you look at Chris Paul. Remember last year, the big game six in Utah, right, to force a Game 7 back in L.A., and then a stinker for Game 7. Yeah. So the history is against them, and they, even in their coaches, uh, uh, Mike D'Antoni, Mike D'Antoni, with what they were able to do with the Suns. They could never get over the hump, never win. Mm -hmm. So when you put those three guys together in Houston, you can win all the regular season games you want. You could score all the points you want, knock down all the threes you want. In the postseason, I'm not buying them. No way, no how do I expect the Rockets to knock off the Warriors. Boy. <laughs> you want to follow that up? Absolutely. I'm, now, I'm a LeBron fan, so I'm, my favorite is the Cavs to knock off the I'm Warriors. I'm not a fan at all. I'm a reporter. I, I got you. I'm a fan, too. That's Relax. what That's what separates the great ones. And a hater. And a hater. You know what I mean? But I like this Rockets team. I like what they're able to do. And I'm going to tell you why I like the Rockets. It's not because of the addition to, of Chris Paul. It's P.J. Tucker for me. He brings a different mentality on the other side of the, of the playing court defensively. When you have an extra body that you can throw at a, a Kevin Durant or a, a, a Steph Curry or whomever, you have, that, you have that, that guy who can play really one through four really tough. And P.J. Tucker, 
He provides that for you. So P- PJ Tucker is going to be the difference on how to <laughs> win. I'm, I'm, I'm tell- I'd rather I'm have just, Chris Tucker at I'm, this point. I'm just I'm telling you from a defensive <laughs> standpoint, this is why they have been better defensively because of a guy like that. You bring in a guy who's sound on that side of the ball and who can who can knock down the three pointer as well. What, are you you got another the history? body. You, you got the history I, of those I, other I, big forget, guys. Forget history. I you got another guy in Trevor Ariza who you can throw at Durant. They're very versatile. They can wow, shoot with the. Say. They can exactly. They can shoot with the Warriors. They can score. They can. You have to be able to outscore the Warriors team. And when you look at this Houston Rockets roster and the productivity that they get from behind beyond the arc, they can outscore this Warriors team. Now, they don't have better shooters across the board, but if they all are on, they can they can easily not. I shouldn't say easily. They can knock this Warriors team off. They have a chance. And what I like about what Maury said was, he didn't just overlook. He didn't. He didn't just yeah, overlook the Spurs. Right. That's right. He said, "Now we don't even have the right to say right. that because we got knocked off by the Spurs." So he recognized the path that they have to take to get there, which is why I like the Cavs knocking them off. Because going through, if 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 the Warriors have to play the Spurs, the Rockets, the Timberwolves, any of these teams consecutive I mean, that first round, they might it, get New Orleans. Exactly. The any of these teams back to back series. By the time they get to Cleveland in the finals, I mean, you, Cleveland had a great walk that, last year and they got swept in five games. They did. They did. They didn't get. What's up with this well, sweeping well, in five they, games? Well, because in one game they won, yeah, they shouldn't have won. That's Rob that's speak. Right. That's Rob speak. <laughs> right. You know, that's what so, he, he use it. five game sweeps, all that stuff. <laughs> this is what I'll say about Dan Tony. You brought up Dan Tony. His history, you know, he's a great coach when he has the players that fit into his system. But he's always been a guy with a lack of attention to detail. You look at their Suns series against the Spurs back in the day. It was they was some great series, but it was always a blown rotation, a turnover at the wrong time, lack of executions, players getting off the bench. You know when there's a scrum, but the Spurs players say Is that's that- lack of attention to detail because the Spurs don't do that. It's like Belichick. They it was like Pittsburgh and and New England last week. Same thing. One coaching staff focuses and emphasizes on these things. But is that, is that really Dan Tony? Can we really throw all that on Dan Tony? A lot, like, yeah. even, even last year, the lack of productivity that he got from James Harden against the Spurs in that final well, game. Well, not it's- that, but I'm just saying in ju- I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to get around. I, I'm just saying that's what people look at. That's the question you have in your mind. About, about- where I will give Dan Tony the benefit of the doubt is that he's never been a defensive coach either. He's never had really good defensive teams, and this year he actually has a good defensive team. So maybe he it will make the changes even in the playoffs to get them over the Because he had some great Suns teams, and they could never, they never get there. They, ne- they, they used to win 60 games a year, yeah. right? And everybody yeah. said, oh, this is it. Yeah. The Suns are going to get there, and they never got there. So when you put him and the other and, and, and uh, Paul and, and uh, Chris Paul and, and James Harden together, I, I have to believe it. I have to see it to believe it because I just don't believe the Warriors' time will come when of they'll course. get knocked off. They look but phenomenal. it ain't going to be with the. It ain't going to be by the rocket. You will admit they look phenomenal. Yes, right now. But, the regular, the, but the regular season, you know that in the NBA, it's a, it's, a, it's different. A lot of teams win a lot of games during the regular. You season. never believe till they do it. You know what I don't like. We, I, you know what I don't like really quick when we talk about when we talk about the importance of the playoffs and act as if the regular season means absolutely nothing because if they're if they were struggling like the OKC Thunder right now we would be saying this is not going to work I didn't think it would work in the beginning all I know but, is last year LeBron and them they're didn't want the work. number one seed and you know what they went to the final they look Greg shushed me that's what he did <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I you can't shush, shush the host <laughs> I didn't shush me. He had a point gotta, to make. I got to get my little points across. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. All right, we're running out of time, though. Are the Saints the most dangerous team in the-